on another note, um, this is the TKC80s that I purchased, well, over a year ago. And uh, this is about 4,500 miles worth of wear that you're seeing right here. Um, there's still some more miles in them. We're not down to the wear bars. But this will probably be one of the last rides that I take on this particular set of tires. I've ordered in a set of Metos EO7s. Um, no, the EO7 Plus. And I will be replacing the TKC80s with those. And we'll just see what happens. I really like the TKC80s. Don't, you know, that's not why I'm switching. Um, these, I'm probably, you're going to get four to 5,000 miles out of them. And ideally, I guess I'd like to get a little bit more than that. But, you know, there's the traction versus mileage balance. These are kind of a soft rubber. And they're, they're pretty grippy on and off the road. Do a good job um, in mud and gravel. I've read a lot of reviews, though, from people who own different bikes than I do, and they're saying that the Metos EO7 Pluses are very good and get 6,000 miles. So I'm going to give it a try. We're going to see what happens. I'll run that set out. And if I like them, well, obviously I'll stick with it. And if not, right back to the TKC 80s, because these are good tires. Uh, before I shut the camera off, I'm going to go ahead and walk around to the front so you can see, as we'd expect, the front's wearing a little bit slower than the rear, um, but it's getting down there too. So it's about time to replace them both, and I look forward to trying something new and updating everybody as to how they perform on the Kawasaki Versus X.